only 75,000 days left in this hole. Huh? But is there a butcher shop or am I dreaming? Of course not, Joe. It's not real. Not real? I was a bit hungry last night, so I painted it. It's beautiful. Oh, sausages! <laughs> Everell, your gift as a painter is going to free us. So got it? You draw a wall on the door and a door on the wall. That way, the guards will watch a fake door, believing it's a real door, and will open the lock of a wall that is actually a door. Capiche? Show us what you've got, <laughs> honest boy. Hmm. I don't like being watched. It makes me nervous. Hmm. Your backs are still watching me. We'll leave. You paid it real nice, just like the butcher shop this morning, okay? Okay, just like the butcher shop. <laughs> Why did you paint this? Well, I did exactly like you said. You idiot! I asked you to turn the door into a wall and the wall into a door. <laughs> Do it again tonight. Think about escape! Think about escape! Sausages! <laughs> okay then, I'll come back when the store's open. Graffiti? This thug is degrading my penitentiary. Come on, he's an artist. Let him unleash his potential. An artist? <laughs> but that's perfect. I love culture. I don't believe it. I don't believe this. You painted a beach? A beach! Oh. You said to think about escape. Going to the beach is an escape. Would you prefer the mountains? <laughs> no swimming, huh? Avril? Guards guard doors. They don't guard walls, they don't guard butcher shops, and they don't guard beaches. So listen, you're going to draw a door on the wall and a wall on the door. That way, the guards will guard a fake wall door while we will open the door wall. But Joe, that doesn't make sense. Walls don't have locks, walls are walls. I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill that evil Picasso! He's so stupid! He's a nobody! A zero! A moron! A dimwit! You've crossed the line of the lines, Joe! The nobody's going on a paintbrush strike! The nobody doesn't want to spend time with art yahoos! And nobody is leaving! I think he's upset. Don't worry. From now on, I'll handle the paintbrush. Okay, you take care of the door. I'll take care of the door. is a bit different. I definitely prefer the butcher shop. It was more bacon-ish. Okay, let's open the lock and get out! <laughs> what is it, God? Why aren't you at your post? Well, I'm watching the door. Precisely, what are you doing? Well, that's the only door I found. Where's that stupid door? Delivery! Found it. Let's go. I should have known. Take the Daltons to the hole and close that door. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. We'll never get out of here. Hey! What are you doing here? <laughs> Uh, you're in the hole, too? Hole? What hole? I'll let my imagination go wild. Shall I give you a kind of tour? Oh, please do. <laughs> and that is how I painted this work of art. What I like the most about museums is the exit. Huh? <laughs> this way! I call this work of art the stars. That way! They went that way. The door! And I call 
call this one the door. There. Let's move. It's over. We're trapped. Let's run this way. Voila. Do you think you're in a cartoon, you idiot? You are such a dim. Huh? Are you coming? Oh. <laughs> Train. Was it you? Uh, if we told you the truth, you wouldn't believe us. So? All done! Yahoo! Oh, I won't even work this time! Oh. Let's try again. Ow. What are they doing? <laughs> It's the latest escape plan. Joe thinks he's in a cartoon. <laughs> oh, true artists will always be misunderstood. We're free! So who's the king of escape? Well, that would be a first. Shut up, you idiot. You could argue if you read something other than comic books. I'm escaping through my comic books. Your escape plans never work anyway, so... Ah, stop me before I massacre him! Ah! <laughs> I have been sent. Study this planet, I must. <laughs> yeah, right. And taking off, we must. There's Ross bedding for breakfast. Really? Awesome! Is this your accomplice? You're getting better every day, Dalton. But we don't even know him. He's an alien. <laughs> Yeah, if he's our accomplice, a buddy of mine. All right, you'll share the same cell. That's strange. That man reminds me of someone. Dalton! Joe Dalton! And you? Sleep or do cannibal. <laughs> Let's call you George. Easier to remember. So what business do you have here? On a mission, I have been sent. Forget about your mission. I have a better idea for you. Adventure. Real adventure. Uh, how many seats are there in that wagon of yours? On a mission, I've been sent. Study this planet, I must do. He's really getting on my nerves repeating himself all the time. All I want is your wagon, capiche? Don't you think we should ask him how it works first, no? All right, I'll play the tour guide and then we take off with him. This is to flush. This is bed. That window, door, wall. And that's a freak of nature. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. The woman. I'm positive that I've seen that face somewhere before. Okay, that's everything. Can we go now? A problem there is. A problem? What problem? Rubber band engine. Broken it is. Avril, you're on your pants. Real adventure can start. 
Yep, but a change of plan there is. <laughs> Does anyone know how to fly this thing? <laughs> Funny story, George. We kind of forgot you. <laughs> Uh, say, how does this wagon of yours work? Cerebral receiver helmet you must wear. Thinking you have to, and flying spaceship you will. Cerebral receiver helmet this is. Like this it need goes. <laughs> what a piece of cake. Oh, oops, my hand slipped again. What a shame. Now think! Mm. It works! It works! Greville Noob, Carol Noob, Sandlerville Noob, Thomas. Hmm? <gasps> I know! Wacky Roswell! He escaped from an asylum! He builds crazy machines and pretends he can fly them with his thoughts! And he blew 12 prisons with his prototypes! He belongs in the asylum! We must bring him back before he blows a fuse! Ah, too late! Oh, the Daltons are escaping! Red alert! Oh. To infinity and beyond! We found this guy in the shed! In peace I come, through space I have traveled. Stop messing around, Wacky Roswell. You're no more an alien than I am a ballet dancer. In peace I come, through space I have traveled. He's beyond help. Nothing we can do. He's a French painter, and he came from Toulouse to find some inspiration. He's a successful painter? Very. I do love that sound. Woof, woof. Hurry up, idiot. Be careful. Climbing on the wall is very dangerous. Joe, Joe. Over here, Dimwit, here. What do you want, you guy? Wall will soon fall like a sand castle. Boris just had vision. Oh, you're seeing things? See me somewhere else. Boris never wrong. It's an earthquake! Stay away from the wall! He's blind as a bat, but his vision is quite good, huh? Vision not over. Boris never wrong. If you can see the future, why are you here? Boris warned police about holdup, but police did not believe Boris. After holdup, police think Boris is accomplice. Big injustice. Oh, wow, that's a real pity. Now, tell us how we're gonna get out of here. Ah, knowing future not always happy end, Boris doesn't recommend. I'm foreseeing punches in your face. Well, if Comrade Convict is sure, then Boris seeing... 
Boris seeing Joe Dalton getting his foot squashed by a brick, then flattened by wood boards, and bitten by stupid dog. Damn, something positive? A vision of escape, for example? Yes, yes, Boris seeing, Boris seeing. Pouring rain, Joe Dalton getting out of tower, getting down on rope with brothers and running in the desert, laughing hard. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Are you sure this is going to happen today? Future very close. Boris never wrong. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh, great! Ow, 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 ow! Ha! The vision is happening! second there, I thought he had it wrong. So, the foot, that's done. The scaffolding, too. Uh, what was the third vision? Uh, all right, I remember now. Hold this for a minute, Jack. Ah! Sorry, but I can't control my reflexes. Tit for tat. That's a very good dog. Sometimes I wonder if the Daltons have a thing for being hurt. It's almost time! Yep, looks like it's gonna rain! <laughs> You're right. The Daltons, the more walls they hit, the happier they are. <laughs> you couldn't foresee that, could you? Vision is like a photograph, not cinemascope. Well, then foresee further into the future. It'll save us some disappointments. <laughs> Boris concentrated. Boris seeing. Very bright future. Congratulations. My own golden bathtub. My own golden revolver. And my own golden ball and chain. Comrade Painter is having a new art vision. Uh, but when do we get out of here? Possibly using the complete solar eclipse at 10.42 this morning. Another vision? No, Boris saw it in paper like everyone else. What a brilliant idea to distribute glasses to everyone, Mr. Peabody! The protection of my convicts has no price, Miss Betty. And for two dollars a piece, I'm making the best of it. <laughs> okay, let's slip out. Where's Avril? I'm here, Joe! You forgot the ropes! <laughs> It'll definitely work next time. Understand. Boris never wrong! Boris never wrong! Hey, the Daltons, look at this! The perfect escape! I love the title, such talent! You have a bright future, let me tell you! Boris never wrong. <laughs> Boris just had vision. Real culprit arrested and Boris cleared. Mr. Boris, I've got a telegram. You're clear of all charges. What about Ash? Didn't you have a last vision? Mild to strong wind on the west. Local storms followed by a Dalton shower. A Dalton shower? I think that poor guy's lost it. Uh, what does a ching chong chong mean? Hmm? Boris never wrong.
You're certain no recent illnesses, no recent accidents? This is a model prison, my dear friend. We take care of our prisoners who are all in good health and very much alive. In that case, I'll be back later. We'll dress that man. Today must be his wedding day. Open up the doors! Follow me! <laughs> hey, looks like the Daltons are invited to the wedding. Hey, wedding means banquet. <laughs> Thank you for the journey, Undertaker. But before we join the hereafter, we'll get off right here. I mean, you get off here. But... We are free! At last! Let's head to the first town and hold up a bank to make sure we haven't lost our touch. <laughs> it's kind of far for a wedding banquet. And how Hell, how about that? The groom takes to... off. Well, too bad for him. Leaves more food for us. Wait for me! I'm coming! Wow, it's so gorgeous, this nature. Glory be to you, oh sublime green mountain. Watch with him. Looks like he's really into nature today, Joe. No! Oh, greetings, little coyote of the hills. Emerald, I can't see! <laughs> Is that it? We're dead? Well, no, actually, we're alive. It's a miracle! Oh, thank what? you, oh great cactus, to welcome us on your generous lambs! Oh, an Edelweiss! A mountain flower so pretty! Uh, Emerald! Uh, 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 <laughs> Let me resume the situation. We are free, but we are stuck like ninnies on a giant cactus. Oh. Uh, Look, it's Rent and Dumb. Hello! Hi there, doggy. What a nice little doggy. He's gonna get help for Uncle Joe. He's so nice, he invites me to the wedding coming! <laughs> oh, this dog is no miracle, he's a disaster! Oh, oh. <laughs> Hurry, we have to drop weight! Empty your pockets! <sighs> oh. We're still too heavy, Joe! What else can we toss? Hmm. Come over here, you! <laughs> <laughs> Playing tag on a cactus, that's a funny idea for a wedding. Ah. 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 Wow, what an amazing view. Fantastic. 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 You guys hear that? Yeah, la la. Yeah, la la. I've never seen such a ninny. Well, actually, what is this box? Oh, it's the food locker. Mm. Hey, Joe, I get the impression like uh, there's someone inside that coffin. And he's about to wake up like a kind of zombie. What a bunch of cowards. Leave it to me, ninnies. That's it! Joe's taking out the food! Oh, it's Barbicus, the Undertaker's cat. You okay, Joe? You've gone white. Empty! You sausage thief! Joe, I've got an idea. 
At this point, we can try anything. Whatever. And there! Avril, tell me I'm dreaming. You built us a... a windmill? so fast. We won't be burying the Daltons yet. They're tough. <laughs> Avril, your flying windmill invention has no future! You're bad for a wedding banquet, even if there were no sausages. Long live the groom! <laughs> that isn't the way to hit stones. Hand that to me! Well, well, Daltons. Muscles full of cactus juice today. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stone Man will be able to help you. He knows about rocks. He was arrested trying to drill through rock to rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> mm, couldn't break that. Not surprising. That's diorite, the hardest mineral in the world. How does Mr. Specs know that, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm Professor Stoneman, geologist, specialist in every sort of rock. Well, then, you must know how we can dig a tunnel to get out of here. You can't dig one uh. here. However, the penitentiary is built right on top of San Pedro Fault. So what? All we have to do is wait for the next Telluric incident to start an earthquake, which will bring down all the walls of the building. Guys, this means we can escape without lifting a finger. And uh, when is the next teller, whatchamacallit, going to happen? Oh, that could be tomorrow. Yeah! yeah. Or in a hundred years. What? But that's way too long! Mm, indeed, but we could provoke it by banging very hard on the ground. <laughs> no means no! I know you, Daltons. This is just another one of your schemisms to so try and escape. Mr. Dalton might be right. It might be wise to take advantage of a geologist's know-how. Well, yeah, like... Smashing the rocks, transforming them into gravel. Gravel sells real easy. Well, why not? Careful, Avril. That is granite. Over here. Ah, oh, yes. Hey, Joe, see this? Mr. Stone Man's teaching me about the different rocks. I don't care. Oh, what adorable little yellow chicks. Tweet, 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 tweet. Ah, we're losing time. We need to make that earthquake happen. So how about you get busy inventing a contraption to make Sismo whatever you call them? Since you asked in such a nice way, how could I refuse? Look, Papa bought you ding dings. Aren't you hungry? I do hope you're not sick. These are revolutionary machines. I call them Joe Hammers. <laughs> we'll make the entire prison collapse with those. Simply climb on top of them and they disintegrate all sorts of rock. What's oh. this thing? Ooh la la, no, you mustn't touch that. It's not ready yet. Fantastic! The rocks are reduced to ground gravel. I will be rich. Oh, stop it! You're mixing up my rock collection. There you are, my chickadees. I prefer seeing you like this. Ah! Hey, g -g guys, it's working. Can you keep g -g going harder? Oh, 
fault in my prison yard? You better fix this right away, Stone Man. No problem. We'll do it. Oh, oh. But my machine's not ready yet. No! Oh. No! Stop this infernal machine! Okay, guys, we're out of here. <laughs> uh, foiled again. Now we have to wait a whole century for that quake. Joe? I don't believe it. That ninny stacked the rock so high, we can climb it and jump over the wall. Guys, get your sheets! <laughs> 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 Where are the Daltons and the Professor? I knew it. They've escaped! Guards! <laughs> Admiral, hurry up! They'll catch up with us fast! I'm stuck! Get me out of here! <laughs> we can do about it. We can install air conditioning. But how can you even think in this heat? Wearing a dress keeps you cool. You should try wearing one. Uh, <clears throat> Excellent idea, Miss Betty. Have the company set this up now. Wow. This is the latest air conditioning system they have. Cool air at your fingertips. Better one feels the difference. This new drying system is a big leap forward. Mm. It's the wind that's making the water evaporate. Now this is a job for wind and gum. I'm going to start by sniffing out discreetly, very discreetly. Like my new hairstyle, Joe. No time to admire yourself in the mirror, Avril. Instead, listen to what has germinated in my genius brain. Wait. No, you big idiot! A plan! A devilish plan to escape! That's a shame. At least with wheat, we could make bread. <laughs> 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 
Through clever negotiating, I've managed to procure this blueprint of the air conditioning system. I don't understand. How about my legendary sense of orientation? Understand that? My incomparable nose tells me that I'm heading in the right direction. You have to be intelligent. I get it. They tested me. The door! The draft! But who slammed that silly door? <laughs> this must be a sophisticated intelligence test. Hurry up! I, I am hurrying! Yeah. Hurry up harder then! I'm hurrying as hard as I can! We'll just keep going thanks to his legendary sense of orientation. That's what worries me. That way! <laughs> I get it. You open the door with one of these knobs here. This is a game for little puppies. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Can you close your mouth and let some of that air pass? It's hot back here. Someone is fooling with the air conditioning. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Hey. <laughs> Must be simple. A little adjustment. Ah. Ah. Let's see. Perhaps this one. <laughs> That exists that can stand up to my intelligence. Oh, bother, I can't remember the blaster code. Uh, what? It's over? I've tried them all. I don't get it. This game's bizarre, unless. Huh? Huh? Nope, still not. Use the ventilation pipes and stop this infernal machine! There, that's better. Now we can escape at last. Huh? Oh, I think we're close. Oh no, not you! Turn back! <laughs> Oh, no, not that way. We can't get through. Not in one piece, for sure. <laughs> Come on, Joe, it's over. You can't get through that. How about betting on it? No! Ah! Well, Joe, you sure are stubborn. We all said you couldn't get through. Well done, Miss Betty. That's good work. You left the manufacturer's code. Zero, 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 zero. Well, yes. This cool air costs far too much. Economism is the word. We were in a hot spot. <laughs> I did. I won. Yeah, but what about my bone? My bone, you... <laughs> <laughs> Just look at us, catching a cold in the middle of a heat wave. That's their stupid air conditioning system. Mmm, being cold gave me an appetite. Would have bite some sausage right now. How about you, Joe? You idiot. Uh, don't be big-headed, Joe. Just call your experience a slice of life. That's right, Joe. Why wasn't I born an only child? <laughs> 